Hey guys, how we doing? So earlier this week, I had a really cool stream. I had a really cool uh, opportunity to uh, interview one of my one of my close friends, and she's actually the original voice of Dora the Explorer. Her name is Kathleen Hurleys, and it was just a lot of fun. And this is something that I've never really done before. I never really thought about doing before, but she's going to start getting into streaming, and she wanted to sit down and learn about it so to sh I can kind of show her how it works. So we had an interview with Dora the Explorer and the original voice of Dora the, Dora the Explorer and we got to play some games and we got to ask her some questions and I I just had a really good time with it. So I hope you guys enjoy this interview and if you did, maybe we'll do future content like this in the future and do more interviews with people. Uh, so let me know down in the comments and uh, I hope you guys enjoy the interview. Uh, Mets asked, how was working with Boots and Swiper? Two very popular characters everyone knows. Yeah, yeah. So when we first started recording, it was most mostly everyone recorded together. We were all kids, um, but that got hectic real fast. So then I only recorded with the voice of Boots, and he's like, I think, a year or two younger than me, and it was great. I mean, we ended up like having a brother-sister relationship because, you know, eventually being in a booth or being with each other every day for a long time, you know, you get... You, you frustrate each other. You aggravate each other. We're kids. But um, we're still in touch now. Um, and it's pretty cool. I really like him. He's a good guy. That's cool. Yeah. Swiper is actually also the voice of the map. What? I don't know if you guys knew that. Yeah. You didn't know that? No. It's the same. It's the same voice actor. So it's pretty so cool. Then, um, and he was the only, I think, one of the very few like main characters that was an adult. Really? Mm -hmm. Everyone else so was, a, were, was a kid. Uh, Kid. Oh, they were all kids. Yeah, all kids. Me, oh. Backpack, Boots, Benny, Tico, think, Isa. You would think that I've asked you this before. Yeah, no. I, no, I don't think no. I ever have. No. I just remember going he up to her. He doesn't care like, about me. Well, I mean, when we were kids, I used to go up to her in, in church and be like, where's Boots? She's like, cut it out. Cut it out. <laughs> so we were friends. And then she, she, she grew up. So inside knowledge right here. I mean, this is what it's for. I mean, I know it's true. Um, I'm trying to read the comments here. So we also we also had a comment. I don't know what I missed, but I have a question about how did you become Dora? Yeah. So to, uh, this is this is my friend Kathleen. She is the original voice of Dora the Explorer. Uh, as she explained in the beginning a little bit, is that she did it when she she was the voice. She was voice acting for it um, when she was seven, from seven to 18. to eighteen, and now she just recently this past year. Right? Was it 2022? No. 2023? 20, 20, okay. All right. Okay. <laughs> so and now she kind of does all the cons and she goes and she does all these, um, I don't want to call them shows, but cons, yeah, expos. Yeah. Expos, yeah. Expos. Stuff like that. So and now, you know, she's been a long time friend and she was getting into streaming. So you guys could actually go follow her at Kathleen Harley's. I will, I'll, I'll put go, it in the chat I'll, earlier. I'll go a little deeper into your question. So, so Lolo, Lolo also says that she was born in 2001 and watched oh, yeah. Dora while growing up. So you were literally my child. Seriously. Lola, trust me, uh, Lolo, trust me when I tell you, me too. I think yeah. everybody watched. Yeah, the show aired in 2000. So that was like perfect timing. Yeah, you grew up with it. So we have. Um, but growing up, I, um, as you're reading, growing up, my mom put me into modeling and pageants and all these things when I was really young and I actually went to a modeling convention um where I met my manager my acting manager and um yeah she's just signed me and then started sending me to auditions and Dora was one of the first auditions that I went on and it was everything was in New York I didn't go to LA to record everything um was in Manhattan so that was pretty cool I didn't have to move or do anything so that's cool yeah so uh, so uh, and then Anthony said, what do you yeah, love most about voice acting? What do I, what? What do you love most about oh, voice you acting? Know, okay. So I mostly am a shy person uh, when I was younger. Stop it, Joe. Um, I'm like, I'm just very shy. Even when I'm singing or whatever I'm doing, I'm very shy. But from at a young age, I don't know, like when you're in a booth and it's just you, I don't know, I just feel... I don't feel as shy. I feel very confident. Like I feel very comfortable. And I think that's my favorite part of like doing voice acting is that like 
I don't, I, you know, I know I can do it and I feel my most self when I'm in the booth and, and recording. I don't know if maybe it's because I grew up, that was my life well, growing I also, up. I also think, do you think it was more of like a, not a job, but like when you're in it, maybe yeah. you get comfortable with it and then, mm. you know, you develop habits to yeah, probably. do stuff like that. Yeah. And it become, even streaming. I mean, streaming's like the same. Right. You know, it's weird. It's, it's weird. You sit in front of a camera. And you stand and you, you read chat and it, you feel weird because it's, there is interaction, but not what you're used to as a human being. Yeah. So I guess, you know, you're in your, you, they say as in, you're in your bag, you know? Right. So. Well, no, well, you brought up a good point. Like the word weird, right? You can be weird and that's okay. And that's like fun. Especially when, these days. Yeah. And that's how I feel when you're doing voice acting and you're in a booth, especially with animation. Like yeah. you can be weird and the weirder you are, the better it is. And no one's going to judge you. <laughs> For and the, and if the weirder you are, the better you are. So like, not in New York. You can just no. You can do whatever you want. But like you know, like <laughs> it's just fun. It's just a lot of fun. And there's a lot of different you know um, avenues with voice acting, not just animation. So it's really right. cool to like understand and see all the places where people can work as a voice actor, which I'm learning now because growing up, my mom did everything, and we kind of just went with the flow and you know was i was dora growing up uh, i didn't really have a lot of time to do other things or to learn about other things so i feel like now i'm in that point in my life where i'm learning a lot about voice acting and trying to find my characters um, aside from dora so it's pretty cool that is good pretty question cool. that is pretty cool so yeah. we're gonna go with order here they want you to do the voice oh god so i'll give you <laughs> Wait, I need to take out, I need to take this out. Uh, I mean, you know, you had to expect the voice. I mean, it was. What was the? Oh, Tuna asked the question too. I knew there was one more. What was an annoying part of being Dora? Okay. Um, this is pretty easy. I missed a lot yeah, growing up, <laughs> um, especially with school and friends. I think in the beginning it was really oh. hard to keep friendships. Sure. Um, going to birthday parties, like saying I would go, and then I. You know, had to bail because I had to go work or travel or do something. So those that that would get annoying. Uh, and then when you're in high school, you know, you just want to be a kid. You want to go, you know, and do things just as a, you know. Yeah, I guess that's you know, it's, I guess it's something that I think that it's something that most people know, but they're they're not totally aware of it because they just kind of see, especially now. Well, I guess not now that you're in school, but like. In the same thing, they don't know what you're dealing with because they see you, it's normal, and they don't understand how much work it is and how much it takes away from your, your personal life. Yeah, and plus, like... And plus, like, like what you said before, too, is that you were seven, so you didn't drive, you know, and you were at the mercy of you know, other people that did things for you, so... Which is tough too because you're on your own schedule. We'll see. So hit my ten push-ups. We're gonna we're good at this. Oh wait, I have an even better idea. After I do the Dora voice, he can do the push-ups, and I'll count as Dora as well. Is that a better idea, or no? Is that a dumb idea? It's good for you. <laughs> I wasn't doing the push-ups. That's what I'm talking about. So. I'll count them. And oh, they in Spanish. <laughs> Oh my god, he's a clown. I hate you see it. Look at him. Yeah, keep going. Keep going without Googling. Go ahead. Yeah. <laughs> Such a clown. Can you see me? Good? Yeah. Alright. You ready? Yep. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, seis, siete, ocho, nueve, diez. Uh, what do you mean? I can't count in Spanish. I don't know where you're at. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> that was 10, Joe. 10. <laughs> I lost count. I couldn't keep track. I was so bad. <laughs> I didn't know oh what my god. I just says. I didn't know where you were. <laughs> Wow, this is. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna have to have someone count it in English. Oh, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna... <laughs> All right, we'll just do ten three times. We'll start, two more we'll times. Go. Start from eleven, though. The kid, I was gonna say, can you go to twenty? <laughs> yes. <laughs> All 
All right, we're getting back into it. Oh, Here we go. God. 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27. Come on, Joe. 28, 29. One more, 30. You did it. You did it. You did it. Yay, Loie sister. You did it. I'm so dead. There we go. We did it. This is abuse. Wow, oh I think God. you need some water. <laughs> what is happening? What are you is happening over there? I don't know what that was. Oh. Did you drop my headphones? No. Oh. He's breaking things over here. <laughs> you know, thirty's a lot. What episode of Dora do you love the most? Oh, I love this one. Let, let me talk while Joe takes a little breath. <laughs> My favorite episode is Dora's fairy tale adventure. Um, I think it was the last episode um, in season four, um, which is my last season. And it was. <laughs> um, yeah, I love that episode. It was like a musical. And I've always wanted to be like a princess. Um, you know, everyone's dream is like, oh, once I'm a Disney princess, I like made it. But. Um, they made Dora a princess, so that was pretty cool. I love that episode. Good question. I'm shocked you know the answer to that. There's a lot of episodes yeah. to love, so. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and they made a doll. I have the doll. And her hair grows. Such a doll. You know, I thought about it. I forgot. All right, he's good now. You're right. So, what is something like when you go to these cons and you go to these expos and you, you meet people? Like, I know, obviously, maybe the... Is it... Like you meet kids, right? That love door, right? And maybe they are they weren't kids obviously back then, but like is it weird when you meet like adults? Like like you said before, like you didn't expect people to like yeah. care about Dora, right. but like they do because they watched it. Yeah. I mean, even me, like I was never like a oh my god, Dora's everything, but like I watched Dora, I love Dora, everyone knew Dora. Yeah. So like is it is it different? Like is it kind of weird interacting with adults? Yeah. Um it was definitely a surprise. But it shouldn't have been, right? Because people who grew up with me are my age now. Right. Why are you laughing? No, because they're... <laughs> they're still going? They're, yeah, they're... Um, but it most of the time, it's pretty emotional. Like, when I do the voice, especially, um, it just takes them back. And a lot of times, like, people will start crying. And then I'll cry with them. Um, and you just hear stories. Like, people growing up watching Dora with the family member, with their grandmother, with their parents or their siblings and they just have all of these memories with Dora there, you know, and Dora, be, the, the show being the center. And it's just so nice to hear and to hear those stories and to hear, you know, my voice is a part of all that. It's pretty cool. And it gets emotional too. That is, yeah, I was going to say, that is, that is pretty cool. I'm sure it means a lot to them. Like, uh, what, it, what it means to... <clears throat> What it, what it means to like some of the kids and even the adults because it's like like you said it's it is emotional when you you know you see a reaction from someone you didn't expect a reaction to too so that is that is pretty cool so zombies that's yeah that's your guy of course my husband is about to join. you know what's coming mr zombies <laughs> Baby, Mark, we gotta hang out sometime, buddy. I miss you, my friend. Yeah, you remember. <laughs> I'll see you soon. I know that. <laughs> How we doing? Hey, Cynthia, what's How going on? Doing? Oh, this is so Mark lovely. For months. Oh no. This is a good time. This is a good time. This is zombies. No, I. You know what? Me, 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 and zombies. We out here like sending each other. We just send each I other. I believe it. Like, you guys are very, uh, you're very uh, motivational. We people. did play Fortnite together. <laughs> together. Did yeah. Did he wash you? No, it's, I mean he's good at he's good he, at yeah he got good quick he does the only thing Joe was better at uh zo than zombies at was doing squats no, it was no don't worry about it oh zombies. yes yeah Joe was just Joe yes. would always beat zombies and I doing squats in the gym that's what he was uh Gaines. That's what he was known for he was very gains and can he do more pushups Joe can't do more pushups than anybody no, no please no just the guy <laughs> this is the guy Joe wasn't doing yeah that. you're gonna hit me in the squat tomorrow <laughs> there you got it. Yeah, he yeah. remembers. He remembers. <laughs> that was a good squad. I remember you got cut off by H3 Cruiser. <laughs> <laughs> it's good times. All right. Enjoy life's journey. Yo, TZ, what's up, my brother? 
We love TZ. Another one. Is that Mr. Dora? That is Mr. Dora. That is that is Mr. Dora. Yes. Hi, Mr. Dora. Do, 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 do